Hey everybody, it's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel. Coming back at you with more fragrances, more colognes, more perfumes. You know that we're frag heads and we're frag lovers. So let's jump into another one. Let's jump into a fragrance called Spark by uh, Devona. Now this fragrance is very good. I really like this one, but I do have to say a full disclaimer, be completely honest with y'all, that these samples were sent to me from the brand. But I love to showcase new brands. I love to showcase them and give them some light, give them some attention, because this is a brand that nobody's talking about, nobody knows about, and I'm bringing them to you here today. So first off, this fragrance is called Spark. I really like the name. Look at the picture here. Little sparks of light, uh, just fresh and crisp and happy. And uh, trust me, let's talk about these notes. I think you're going to like how this one sounds, because I like it. Uh, two. This one's called Red Grape. Uh, called Red Grape. It has notes of red grape, uh, coconut, gardenia, violet, herbs, nuts, and sugar. So you're definitely getting something a little bit more playful, uh, maybe than some of the other ones from the brand. Uh, red Grape comes through in a beautiful way. I love that smell of like more of like wine. It's not overtly boozy, but it does kind of kind of give that edge. Um, and I like that smell. It's not overtly purple. It's not, you know, like Kool-Aid or anything strange. I like the smell of this, and I like that smell of wine and fragrances an awful lot. Um, I have a fragrance by Alchemia called The Traveler of the Moon that has white grape or white wine, and uh, it's to die for for me personally. But a, a good fragrance. The coconut isn't overtly powdery. The coconut doesn't have the full body as it can have. To me, this is more of the coconut water. It does add a little bit of, to the soapiness of this fragrance. Um, it, 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 this fragrance kind of uh, makes me think of the lily. The lily really sneaks up in a big way in Devona. I'm not sure if they did tuck some in here, but uh, the coconut it keeps making me think of that fresh, clean, soapy kind of quality that a lot of these Devona fragrances have. But anyways, the gardenia, um, you know, it's there. I really do like the note of gardenia if it's done right. To me, it's kind of like a le like the leaves of a fig. It's bright and it has its own unique character about it. It certainly is a very nice floral. Uh, kind of on the green side in my opinion though. Uh, Violet is here. Uh, may just adding a little bit. It's not overtly gasoline-like. It's This is more of that white, clean, airy, uh, very uh, violet. Uh, the herbs, I don't, I don't know what herbs they're particularly talking about. Um, there is a little bit of herbaceousness. A little bit of some green kind of touches, a little spark, a little play here and there. Um, nuts. In the dry down, you actually do get a little bit of these playful woody nuances, and this fragrance really pops in a bunch of different ways. It's popping with a little bit of sweetness here and there. It's popping with a little bit of citrus. You're getting some, a little bit of that gardenia, a little bit of those herbs, and then it pops a little bit with sugar and nuts at the end. And um, I think that this is just a playful, happy fragrance. It's very cheerful, and um, they, they describe their notes with three characteristics. This one's confident, free-spirited, and generous. So this one is a very kind of carefree fragrance. It makes me think of like uh, fields of sunflowers and uh, something like that. And um, this is just wonderful. It's clean, it's fresh, and uh, it's, it's playful in a really nice way. I do feel like this one's a slightly more sweet than some of the other Devonas, and that that's not in a bad way. A lot of Devona fragrances actually, especially for ladies out there, probably could be a little bit sweeter. I think that this one is, uh, has that right amount of sweetness. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, you know, I, again, I'm not trying to hype this one up, but as far as Devona fragrances go, this is one of my favorites from the brand. I really like Willows and Sierra. This is one of my top three, for certain. I also feel like it fills a little bit of a gap in the fragrance world, in the fragrance community, because there's not a lot of fragrances out there for ladies. There's not a, fragrance, a lot of fragrances uh, for the ladies that are more clean and more soapy and more on that fresh uh, side of things. There's just not a lot of them out there for the ladies, and this one... This one does a wonderful job of that. So fantastic fragrance. Um, anyways, projection longevity. Sadly, projection and longevity is just not great. That's one of my complaints with this brand. I do wish a lot of their fragrances performed better. Um, this one's going to give you probably six hours or so, maybe five hours. Uh, five to six hours and uh, projection is a little bit better than the others, but it's still more on the average side of things overall. And, of course, you know, the Siage is decent, but it's not great either. So, overall, may average or maybe slightly below average performance. It's not terrible. It's not a skin scent. It doesn't go away in seconds, but um, it could be better. Um, let's, let's talk about the compliment factor. I do feel like this is feminine. 
Um, I do have to say that, but I was uh, confident enough to go out there and wear this a couple times. And this is a uplifting fragrance. It's sweet and yet soapy and fresh and playful. And ladies did like the smell. And I think that some of them were surprised that I dared to wear a fragrance like this. Um, I think that some of them, um, you know, maybe thought I spilled baby powder on me or something. Uh, to me, that, wh that white floral uh, kind of nature coming through um, with the coconut kind of comes through a tiny bit powdery in a way, but not overtly powdery, not overtly so, but... Maybe they thought that uh, I decided to use a woman's uh, coconut shampoo or something. I don't know what they thought. But it was kind of funny to get out there and try this one. I wasn't too scared of wearing this one as a guy, but I do feel like it's feminine. Um, this is a fragrance brand by ladies for ladies, but of course, wear what you love. Anyways, um, interesting fragrance. And uh, I think that this one is going to be a good compliment getter out there. If people ever get close enough to you to smell... I can't imagine somebody at a picnic or at a grill out, um, at a festival, like a summer, like having fun out there in the summer, you know, water balloons and, uh, you know, sodas and all that kind of stuff and grilling. I think that this one would be beautiful. I think that this one would be a charmer and it would be very nice with like a, a sun hat, um, you know, those kinds of things. I think it'd be wonderful. Um, I, I, I do recommend this fragrance overall. So uh, my final thoughts with this fragrance and this brand is that um, you should get out there and maybe give this one a chance. If you want something clean, soapy, fresh, and happy in your collection, maybe you're kind of the kind of lady who likes a sun hat. Um, I think that this is a fun fragrance for that kind of thing. Like those big straw hats, I think that this is one that really captures that moment and that vibe in a great way. Anyways, um, again, this was sent to me. Take this with a grain of salt if you'd like. I am being pretty positive about this fragrance, but the performance is not what it should be. And let's talk about my final thoughts on the price. This fragrance is one ounce for $55. That means if you were to get three ounces like a normal full-size bottle, you'd be paying about $155 bucks or so. Um, I think that the prices are a little bit high, but of course this is a smaller brand and they're bite size. Um, I do wish that these fragrances were a little bit more highly concentrated. I do wish that they lasted longer. And um, uh, one ounce is fine if you're a fragrance collector or if you're a lady. And maybe you want to buy up a bunch of small bottles and have a lot different collection and have a bunch of little different scents. I think that is kind of a fun thing to do. The presentation was all right. Um, you saw the, my, you know, my thumbnail with the picture of the bottle. Um, I'll put the website down below if you want to check this one out. But... Um, I do think that this one could be sweeter, it could be louder, and it could uh, last longer. But of course, these fragrances are very, uh, you know, light, very versatile, and easy to wear for any day, every situation. So I think that that's what the brand is going for. But uh, this one begs to me to be louder and sweeter, and I want more of that wine vibe. I want more of the wine, I want more of the coconut, and I want, uh, you know, even the dry down to be a little bit more nutty. So I like this one. I like this fragrance, uh, but you might not be getting the best value for your, you know, bang for your buck. So don't let me be overly enthusiastic and maybe get your hopes up because there's pros and there's cons to this one for sure. But overall, uh, one of my favorites from the brand again, and um, I do encourage y'all to maybe give this one a chance. Let me know, ladies, does this sound good to you? Does this sound beautiful? Does this sound charming? I think that, you know, some lady out there might just like this one. And I do think that um, it's a good one. Um, again, I'm repeating myself. I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to wrap up this video right here and now. Let me know what you think about this fragrance. Do you like coconut? Do you like the smell of wine? Have you heard about this brand? Have you tried this fragrance? And of course, before you go, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Tell a friend. And uh, I'll see you next time, my friends. Have a good one. Have a fantastic one. And I'll see you next time, everybody. And bye.